Thinkorswim by default does not give you access to real time data. If you click on your setup cog in the top right, go to application settings and then system. If you haven't already changed this setting, it will be set to a three second delay on your quote speed. Just look at my time and sales here. Look at how my active trader window is updating. If I change this to real time data and hit apply, look at how instantly this starts changing at a much more rapid pace. We've just intro the video and I've already changed your trading forever. Hit the like button if you appreciate it. And let's jump into the rest of the video. All right, so we now have real time data, but let's talk about the software application itself. Has your Thinkorswim ever been laggy or been moving sort of choppy? It may be because you don't have it utilizing the right amount of your hardware. I have opened up a new Thinkorswim login modal, and if I click on this cog in the bottom left, you will see this memory usage two numbers down here, right? This is your random access memory, and in megabytes, this is your minimum to use and your maximum to use. I believe by default, these are set to maybe not the smallest, but certainly much smaller numbers. And depending on your hardware, you're going to want to up this, right? I'm using a 32 gigabyte machine. So I have my minimum set to four gigs or just around four gigs and my maximum at 24 gigs. I find that this works the best for me, but you can test this yourself. And what you should do is come in and mess with these numbers and open your, so if I right click in my uh, taskbar at the bottom and open task manager, you're gonna wanna look in here and see how much of this memory that your Thinkorswim is using. Really, you wanna be below, like if you start getting into like the 60, 70% on your memory, you may start to notice your own machine getting a little choppy. So as long as you can stay below that with everything else you have open, you will notice one, obviously, a much smoother running Thinkorswim application, which is fantastic, and your machine will still be running smoothly. Now, let's talk about RAM a little bit. RAM is random access memory. It's memory that is always being pulled from by whatever your machine is doing, by any software that you have open. So you will see, you know, I currently have Discord open, my, my browser open. Yes, I use Microsoft Edge. Um, I'm, I'm making a video right now, so I have that pulling on my RAM, of course, which you won't normally have. But um, all this is pulling on the random access memory. So you don't necessarily want to up your think or swim right up to the limit of your machine, right? Like I don't have mine set to use 24 to gigabytes and 30 up to 32 gigabytes all the time because you need to leave room for the other applications that you run while trading. Your Discord, do you listen to music? Obviously, you probably have other tabs open to look at other information while you're trading. So you're going to want to make sure you set all that up in the correct way. If you're using Thinkorswim to trade, then you need to check out daytradingstrategies.net to get access to tons of custom Thinkorswim codes that can easily be imported into your software. Links at the top of the description. We'll see you over there. One last thing I wanna to touch on because I'm sure a lot of you are asking yourselves with all this conversation about hardware, Trey, what kind of machine do I need to be able to smoothly run Thinkorswim? Thinkorswim has its own parameters for its system requirements laid out by PC, Mac, and by average user and power user. They define power user as someone who has multiple instances of Thinkorswim open at the same time and or multiple detached charts across multiple different monitors open at the same time. I would even refer to myself as an average user. I do have a couple of things I will detach onto my other two monitors every now and again, but even with that, I would refer to myself as an average user. For both PC and Mac, for an average user, your minimum requirement is four gigabytes of RAM, and for your power user, your minimum requirement is 16 gigabytes of RAM. There are other, obviously, hardware essentials on here. Your processor, your network, your internet network is obviously the most important thing when it comes to hardware trading. I'll link this in the description down below if you'd like to take a look at it yourself. We gave you value on the intro of this video, so let me also give you value on the way out. If you click on this help tab, and the system sub tab, you will see the memory usage of your Thinkorswim application because the longer it is open, 
the more memory it is going to use. Thinkorswim is always downloading information and you can come in and you can hit this collect garbage button and you notice that used memory drop off. A lot of people will point to this as a way that you can help speed up your machine. If I'm giving my own personal experience as someone who's used Thinkorswim for over six years now, I've never noticed that make a large impact, but I just wanted to show it to you on this video on the way out. That's going to be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to link you all on the end screen to my full Thinkorswim tutorial. So if you're interested in more, check that out. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>